welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. I'm Garrett, and today I'm going to quickly discuss my history with storms and why I love them so much. Also, real quick, if you're interested in astronomy and storms and like what you see, be sure to subscribe and follow along for more. When I was really young, I used to be deathly afraid of storms. I think it was mostly the thunder and the loud rain that I was most afraid of. I remember I'd always hide under the bed sheets if I was in bed or I'd hide in the hallway if there was nowhere else to get. Then, that all changed when the movie Twister came out. In 1996, I was 7 years old whenever I went with my family to see Twister in the theaters. My mom said that we sat on the front row and ever since then, my life's never been the same. Since seeing Twister, I was obsessed with storms. I'm not sure what it was about Twister that sparked that obsession, but I know that I'm not alone. I've heard countless people say, friends included, that Twister was what started their lifelong obsession with storms. And since Twister, the rest is history. Every time a storm rolls through, I'm outside, I'm in the middle of it, I'm taking pictures, I'm listening to the meteorologists on TV or on the radio, I'm letting my friends know what's going on, I'm keeping everybody up to date what's going on. I watch every aspect of the storm as it's occurring, and I'm loving every second of it. It's a crazy feeling, but it's like my body's on high alert. It's almost like I literally get a natural high whenever a storm occurs. I get a serious adrenaline rush from it, and after the storm's over with, I'm completely exhausted. In Tennessee, we don't have severe weather as often as they do further out west, but it does happen on occasion. I've never seen a tornado firsthand, but I'm fairly certain I have seen a funnel cloud. On April 11th of 2008, we had a really bad storm roll through, and I snapped this picture of what I'm pretty sure was a funnel cloud. I had never seen motion like that before in a cloud. I wish I had more pictures of it, but this is all I could find. This cloud continued to move east-northeast and became obscured by trees. Soon after, heavy straight line winds came through, which I'm pretty sure was associated with the rear flank downdraft of the storm. This funnel cloud must have touched down just after it got out of my line of sight. The National Weather Service declared that this storm produced a F1 tornado with a damage path that crossed the road just a half mile from my house. The damage path ended up being nearly 15 miles in length. To date, this has been my closest brush with the tornado. I'll never forget it, and I want to experience that feeling again. I've traced storms locally, and will continue to do that as this next storm season approaches. I have yet to head out west to Tornado Alley, but I want to change that in the future. But for the time being, I'm just going to continue to chase here locally in Middle Tennessee. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee a tornado for the channel this season, but I'm going to do my best to bring some good storm content to the channel. I'm also a certified storm spotter by the National Weather Service here in Tennessee, and I also regularly take the online classes to make sure all my information is up to date. So I kind of hope I know what I'm talking about anyways. I study storms in my downtime and my passion for them is only growing. I'm excited for spring to roll around so that we can get started with another storm season. And that pretty much sums up my history with storms. So as always, thank you for watching and hope you enjoy.